Well, good morning and welcome to our brand new state-of-the-art level one trauma center, UC San Diego Medical Center. This is a long time in the making. Uh, my name is Aaron Bizak. I'm the Director of Government and Community Affairs here at the Health System. Uh, and I will be introducing some folks who will be speaking here today. You want to hear from them, not from me. Uh, but before we get started, I want to invite up Margarita Baguette, who's our Chief Nursing Officer and Chief Op Interim Chief Operating Officer, to just say a couple of words about, um, about the opening. Thank you. I'm just so honored and excited to be here today. And I want to thank Supervisor Von Roberts for coming today. We're so happy to have you. And I just want to say I am just so happy and thrilled for Dr. Coyumbra and his entire extraordinary team of providers. This trauma center is just state of the art. We are known throughout the region, and I think internationally, for the level of care that we provide to our patients in San Diego and those that come in from other areas um, for the care. And I'm just thrilled. I'm so excited for you. And it is just absolutely beautiful. And uh, we're, I'm just here to represent our administrative team and to say how proud we are and excited. So congratulations. Thank you very much, Margarita. Um, I would now like to welcome up um, the person who's in charge of this whole shebang here. Uh, that is Dr. Raul Coimbra. And Dr. Coimbra is the Chief of Trauma, Surgical Critical Care and Burns here at UC San Diego Health System. Dr. Coimbra. Thank you very much, uh, Aaron. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's an honor and a pleasure for me to welcome you to UC San Diego for the inauguration and opening of our new trauma center and its resuscitation areas. Initially, I would like to express my gratitude for the authorities and political figures present here today. We have Bill Krotz uh, representing Senator Feinstein, uh, uh, representatives from the state of California, county and city of San Diego attending the ceremony today. And in special, uh, my thanks to County Board of Supervisor uh, and old time UCSD trauma burn friend <laughs> and supporter, Ron Roberts. Uh, we've been together in many instances. Unfortunately, some are not as pleasant as this one. The last time we were touring this hospital, we were uh, going through the 2007 fires and uh, going through the burn center. Ron Roberts came and looked at the burn victims. And that was a sad day, but today is not. I also want to thank uh, representatives from uh, transport EMS agencies and the EMS uh, directors, Marcy Metz and Bruce Haynes, uh, directors of County EMS and partners in our trauma system. Uh, I also want to recognize the presence of some of the trauma surgeons and trauma program managers of other trauma centers in San Diego County for attending today, our partners in the system. So thanks Frank and Mary and Sue and others. Finally, I would like to recognize a few others that have been instrumental throughout the process of uh, remodeling and redesigning our trauma center. Tom Hamlin, Brandon Kramer, Margarita Baggett that you just heard from, Angela Socha, who is our CMO, is standing back there, uh, very supportive of our program. Juana Burkhart, our nurse uh, leader in the ICU and in the trauma unit, Jonathan Jones, our trauma program manager, all our dedicated group of trauma nurses, as well as the faculty of the Division of Trauma Burns, particularly my clinical partners, Bruce Potenza, Jay Doucette, Vishal Benso, Jean Lee, Leslie Kobayashi, Todd Costantini, our two fellows, Zia and Laura, present here today, who suffered from one year during the remodeling working, uh, to, through the remodeling, working in not so ideal conditions, <laughs> day and night, to provide the best and safest care possible to injured patients. San Diego Trauma System is a model for the country, and it's truly a very successful story of a public-private partnership. Six trauma centers have worked collaboratively for 28 years in a way which could serve as a model for the rest of medicine and healthcare in general. Many advancements in trauma care started right here at UCSD and have spread throughout the world. We stand on the shoulders of my predecessors. There were two giants that uh, need to be mentioned, Steve Shackford and Dave Hoyt, who had the vision almost three decades ago to develop a high quality program in the University Hospital with Brent Eastman in, in, a, in another institution 
to serve our community and beyond and to lead the country in trauma care. The mission is still the same and we remain committed to maintaining our leadership position in clinical care, research, education, outreach and prevention. This modern trauma center that we inaugurate today was needed to accommodate the increase in volume observed in the last several years and to provide a better environment for injured patients to be cared for and also for us, the healthcare team, to have a better work environment. Look at the panels on the walls. It's a peaceful place. It doesn't look like the craziness of an emergency department. We are using state-of-the-art technology, including cutting-edge communication systems, imaging, physiologic monitoring, and as you can observe. The remodeling of the trauma center reinforces the commitment of UCSD Health Sciences to the citizens of San Diego County, Imperial County, and more importantly, to the Hillcrest, Downtown, and South Bay regions. I hope you have a chance to spend a few minutes walking around the room later on, learning about the sophisticated systems in place in the room. Once again, I want to thank you all for coming today, and I will turn the floor to Supervisor Rome Roberts, who will make a few remarks. Well, good morning, and uh, thank you, Dr. Coimbra. Uh, Wow, what a, what a difference. Uh, you know, I was just thinking being a patient, looking up, you feel like you're flying over this place, you know, and see the horizon here. Uh, probably would make you relax a bit more. Uh, this is a, especially significant for me. Uh, now it's just part of my supervisorial district as virtually the whole trauma system in San Diego is. Uh, with one exception, all of the trauma hospitals are part of my district. But I live very close to here, and I guess I'm, if I were to be a trauma patient, I'm likely to be here. So it's good to see I'm going to be in good hands. Uh, Dr. Coimbra mentioned when we had our devastating fires in 2007, we had four severely burned firefighters. And I know our fire chief would remember this uh, clearly. And uh, one of the things that I can share with you I walked away from this thing. That's not going to happen again. We put some changes in place that we will shortly know where every fire truck is and they will know where they are with respect to the fire and that's what happened. We got a crew in front of the fire and the fire was moving like a blowtorch and it just blew apart their truck. And two of them were outside and two of them were inside. The protection that we thought the truck afforded wasn't there. In today's world we have something called a NICS system that we're changing the playing field dramatically with the support of all the uh, first responders and the CAL FIRE and everyone else. So there's some good things that are happening. But for, for us, UCSD really is a key partner with the County of San Diego and what we think is deservedly one of the finest trauma systems, if not in the country, then in, also in the world. Uh, we think we've got it right, we've got a good model, and it works. Uh, USSD has always been a key partner. I would share that with you. In any initiative, any of the things that we want to do, when he mentioned David Hoyt, David Hoyt has been a longtime friend and uh, worked with him for a number of years on, on a whole series of things. We always had cooperation from UCSD. So I, uh, I would just share with you, this is a key, a very key part of the success of the trauma system in San Diego. I suspect all of you who are here know what we're talking about when we're talking about trauma. We're talking about gunshot wounds. We're talking about auto accidents. We're talking about, as we saw recently, little kids maybe falling into a swimming pool and I need to respond to that. In some cases, we're talking about sports injuries or maybe bicycle injuries or other things that, that are happened. There was a time we didn't have this system and I would share with you, and I've always also experienced the hospital before we had a trauma system in place. But we were, we, were, we were at that time given the best of care, but we didn't have the system and we didn't have the same requirements that we had today. I had a, uh, I, I would share with you, a close relative who passed away in the building next door, in the original building, uh, when it was a university medical center from a uh, auto accident. I'm looking around here thinking today that 
you know, I don't know that she would have survived, but she'd have had a heck of a better chance in the environment that you see here today. It's a, it's a different uh, playing field. And it, and it really has been a reflection of the leadership that this hospital has shown and the team of people that's been here and been assembled for so many years. You, you don't just advance and make changes and, and, and improvements just because it, you know, it's happening elsewhere. You gotta have a dedicated people and good leadership and financial acumen to understand this is what we want to get done. How do we go about doing it? Well, there was a consensus years ago by a board of supervisors that organized the trauma system. And there was pushback in the community. You know, you're only going to allow five hospitals to take care of. Yeah, that's going to be the model. And it was before I was on the board of supervisors, although for some of you, I think I've been on the board of supervisors for a very long time. It was well before I was on the board. We celebrated our 25th anniversary not too long ago of the system. Uh, and I think we, are, we all are delighted. We're delighted, why? Because we've seen the preventable deaths go from, from 22% down to 2%. An amazing change. And we've seen even in spite of the growth in the community and the number of incidents and everything, We've been, we've been able to maintain that, that uh, very low rate, a very, look at the other side of the coin, the very high success rate that's there because the system is in place. So I, I want to uh, give a very special thank you to all of you who have in some way, shape, or form contributed this. Your, your efforts have contributed making this a, a, a world-class system, this facility a very, very key part of that system. You make the Board of Supervisors look a lot better, I can tell you. I appreciate that. I also want to give a, a tip of the hat to uh, Paul Bovano and his leadership for bringing this about. And to you, Dr. Coimbra. Thank you. Congratulations. Best wishes. Maybe we'll, we'll stand here next year and talk about 1% instead of 2%. Thank you all. Thank you very much, Supervisor Roberts. You've been a longtime supporter of our institution. We appreciate it. And this wouldn't be possible without the support of all of our elected officials in this area. And uh, it's my um, pleasure to present a proclamation from uh, Mayor Bob Filner, who unfortunately could not be here today, but let me just grab this. So Mayor Filner sent this uh, very nice proclamation. And there are a number of whereases, as is typically the case with proclamations. Um, but I will read the final piece of it. And it's be it resolved that I, Bob Filner, the 35th mayor of the city of San Diego, do hereby proclaim May 16, 2013, to be UC San Diego Health System Trauma Center Day in the city of San Diego and encourage all to applaud UC San Diego Health System for their continued commitment and dedication to the community. And I will, I will present this to you, Dr. Coimbra. Thank you so much. Very good. Um, and so now I'd like to bring up uh, Jonathan Jones, who's a trauma program manager here, to, um, for a couple of closing remarks. Jonathan. You know, the, the, the good and bad part of being last is, um, is someone else might have said what you were going to say. The councilman really uh, stated many of the things that I wanted to say, how we re have reduced our, our preventable death rate. And thank you so much for coming, and thank you everyone else for coming for our opening day. What I'd like to share with you is a little bit more personal. Um, in my previous job, I got to see a lot of trauma centers and walk through them. And there are a lot of really nice ones. But when Dr. Coimbra walked me through here and I met uh, Sharon Pacina, my predecessor, it was like being home. And what made it home was the process. It, everything was geared toward stopping the bleeding and getting that person home to their family. And that's really been the focus of us, us at this facility for the last 29 years. And that's why I always wanted to come here. And when the job opened, I didn't want to go anywhere else. Even though I had an opportunity to, this is where I wanted to be. And it has felt like home since I've been here. And I, I and Juana uh, has built this from the ground up with Dr. Coimbra and, their, and the staffs. And it is a remarkable place to resuscitate people. I truly hope that we don't have to see any of you here. <laughs> but if you do have to come here, we will do everything in our power to get you back to your family. 
Thank you for coming. We do have a, resuscit a resuscitation, a reception area. It's, it's a resuscitation reception, yeah. A resuscitation reception, that's a tongue twister, <laughs> up on the ninth floor with some snacks, and we would welcome you to come up there. There are signs leading up there. If you have any questions about the technology in the room, please come to me, um, to Juana, to Dr. Coimbra, and, and um, I see Dr. Godat, she also could explain some of the things and some of the others. Uh, Dr. Um, Bansell in the back <coughs> or Constantini and they can explain any of the equipment to you and why we did it the way we did. Thank you so much again for coming. And before, before we leave and go to the resuscitation reception, um, <laughs> well, we are going to do a uh, ribbon cutting. So thank you to the Chamber of the San Diego Regional Chamber of Commerce for, for assisting us with that. And we'll do a ribbon cutting. So if we can have uh, Supervisor Roberts, uh, Dr. Coimbra, Jonathan, and, uh, and uh, Margarita, let's go to the other side and we'll do a ribbon cutting. Thank you very much. Dangerous, so be careful. <laughs> so there is a small cut already in there. Actually, just over a little bit. You see the cut? Uh, you don't okay. get the work around. We'll see. Get it all the way down to the, to the uh, right there. Okay. okay. One, two, two three. Oh, that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a knife. <laughs> there, there we go. go. We have shears. There we have shears. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> There's the real work. You gotta be able to improvise.